World Championship Football. Freiburg Football Stadium in Germany. For one night only, robots are attempting to take over the world's favourite game. And we're hunting the man responsible for this atrocity. <laughs> Professor Bernhard Nabel is an expert in artificial intelligence. And his robot is the first ever developed to take on a human at football and win. My specialty is AI and robotics, and I'm trying to build robots that can play soccer and then are able to beat the human world champions. A robot that can beat Brazil? What on earth does Bernhard's creation look like? Well, something like this, actually. And the contest isn't taking place in a stadium. It's in a pub around the corner. Bernhard's robot plays table football and is rather good at it. So good that later tonight it's going to be taking on world champion Thierry Muller. Bernhard is Professor of Artificial Intelligence and Robotics at the University of Freiburg. He made his name building robots that play football against robots. And they've won the Robo World Cup three times. But Bernhard's dream is that one day his World Cup winning robot team could take on a human team and kill them. But with strikers like this, he's got a long way to go which is why he's gone back to basics. Well, you switch to a game that is a bit simpler, and a bit simpler is this game here, which is uh, table soccer, where you uh, have a lot of control, but still there's all this uncertainty you have, and, well, now we built such a system. Bernhard's creation is a robotic wonder. It features eight powerful motors that slide and twist the four playing rods. An infrared camera updates the position of the ball 50 times a second. And against a random sample of people, it wins 75% of the time. Which makes Bernhard's machine the first in history that can beat humans at a physical game. That was a third goal against me. Annoying. It's so popular that a commercial version has now been made. The camera is now underneath. And it even pays for itself. It's great at beating PhD students. But we wanted to know how it would cope against a real challenge. So we set up a showdown against eight-time German and one-time world champion Thierry Muller. No wonder Bernhard's looking nervous. So a bright start by these two players in this first of six goals match. The robot, of course, playing in its usual home colours of blue. Both teams trying not to take any chances here. Oh, great goal from midfield. 1-0 to the robot. But they're off again. Nice control from Thierry there. Oh, great reply. Lovely tour. Caught the defence napping there. Oh, terrible slip up by the goalie there. He won't want to see that one again. 3-1. Oh. And the robot really is in charge. Can Thierry make it back from here? 3-2! And another! Thierry's really turning on the style. 5-3. Just one more needed for victory. And it's there. The human race wins again. And luckily, like any good manager, Bernhard has the excuses ready. It was not in the best form, it has problems, and 6-3 is actually, I think, a very good result. But what about our world champion? Conceding three goals against a robot 
You must be sick as a parrot, Thierry. A little bit, a little bit, but, but I win. But maybe not for long. We are working on um, making the machine much better and, well, one way to do that is uh, to use imitation learning techniques so that we uh, watch what the human does and then learn from it and uh, improve uh, the, the style of playing. So, Thierry, however good you think you are, soon the computer will be watching and learning from your every move. But, for the time being at least, humans rule.